So this is reality 11.1.8, new update available on the App Store today, Monday the 27th of February. So one of the first things that you'll notice is when you open up reality for the first time after the update, it asks you to name this iPad. So I'm going to call this one iPad Pro Monitor. Done. And you'll see that it pops up on that gray bar at the middle of the screen, Connect Reality Controller to iPad Pro Monitor. Now, if you want to change the name of the iPad at any time, you go into Settings, and you can see iPad Name there. You tap in there, and you can alter the name. But really, you should only have to do that once, and that allows you to name each iPad individually. So once Atlas is connected, you will see two options on the control iPad. Spontaneous breathing or Atlas ventilation. To generate spontaneous breaths, you set the end tidal CO2 and respiratory rate as normal, so as you normally would have previously. But if you want to detect uh, manual ventilations from Atlas, you set the respiratory rate as zero. So let's see what happens when we uh, do both of those. So let's just press OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, mimic a spontaneously breathing patient. So I'll set my CO2 and respiratory rate and press send. Now Atlas is currently connected. So uh, as you can see, we're now able to uh, draw an end tidal CO2 waveform without ventilating Atlas. But now I'm going to set the respiratory rate down to zero. Send. And as you can probably imagine, the uh, end tidal CO2 trace will stop drawing. But now I'm going to ventilate Atlas. I'm going to put the bag valve mask on Atlas and start giving some ventilations. And as I start giving the ventilations, you can see that it's now recording those as I'm ventilating by how frequently you are ventilating Atlas. So if I want Atlas to return to spontaneous breathing, I simply stop ventilating Atlas, turn the respiratory rate up to a rate and press send. And now it will appear as if Atlas has got spontaneous breaths again. So another feature that has been asked for is to allow a third iPad to connect as the CPR console. So we can now do this. We go into staging, connect as an additional monitor, Choose the monitor we want to connect to, connect. And in our options here, you will now see CPR console. So we select that. And now we have the CPR console connected in addition to our normal monitor showing the ECG and SPO2 and so on. 